after one whole year of dubious allegations, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has finally acknowledged that uh, he has not provided India with concrete proof regarding the death of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar in Canadian, on Canadian soil while testifying before the public inquiry into foreign interference in federal electoral processes and democratic institutions in Ottawa. Since then, the Ministry of External Affairs of India has pointed out that at least 26 extradition requests from the Indian side sent over the last decade or more that still remain pending with the Canadian authorities. The question that arises is, how do we break the Khalistani support system in Canada? Before we begin this conversation, let's quickly take a look at the Khalistani terrorists who are still residing in Canada and their terror activities continue. These are names that have been pointed out uh, by the Indian government on a number of occasions in the past as well. I'm going to go over to the big screen and try and tell you exactly who they are and what kind of custodianship they are in fact being benefited by uh, the Canadian government. All right, Ashdeep Gill, uh, he belongs to the terror group KTF. He lives in Surrey. He in fact uh, is uh, a prominent member of the community in Surrey. He goes around, he walks around, he goes to the mall, he goes around driving his car, but there is no action being taken against him because the Canadians believe that there is not ample proof against him. Uh, the KTF uh, group has been involved in terror financing, cross-border smuggling of drugs and weapons from Pakistan. There have been indications of uh, getting support from the ISI as well. And of course, Goldie Brar, a name which became immensely popular after Sidhu Musewala's murder, is also somebody who is living very comfortably in Canada. Uh, he belongs to the Babar Khalsa, a group that of course was created in the 1980s. Uh, in fact, India issued an Interpol red notice against him in June of 2022. The Canadians did nothing about it. In fact, they continue to shelter uh, these enemies of the state. And uh, when India has tried to get them back uh, to Indian borders, the Canadians have not cooperated. And that is, uh, you know, the double standards that they have been uh, living with. Rinku Bila, he also belongs to the KZF. He lives in Surrey. He's involved in 25 criminal cases, including murder, attempt to murder, and extortion. Uh, he's obviously uh, sheltered by the Canadians. He's been given, uh, you know, the kind of uh, atmosphere that will only allow him to create more unnecessary evil and unleash it towards India. And of course, this is uh, something which uh, the Indian government has raised concern uh, when it comes to Rinku Bila, but no action has been taken. None of those summons, if you may call it, have been responded to. He continues to reside in Canada and he continues to plot against uh, India and of course he is an enemy of the state. There have been established reports of Rinku Bila also being in touch with the ISI operatives. He's also in fact uh, uh, you know, tied to a number of financial crimes which lead authorities to ISI as well. Raman Judge, he also currently lives in Surrey. He's involved in 10 criminal cases including murder, attempt to murder and extortion as well. And now these criminals uh, in fact, uh, have ganged up against India. They continue to, in fact, uh, you know, put pressure on the Canadian government, show us in the bad light. And the Canadians are naive enough, for the lack of a better word, that they continue to believe these people uh, against whom India has furnished ample evidence. Lakhbir Singh Landa, uh, who belongs to the Babar Khalsa, he also is residing in Canada at this point in time. He was instrumental behind two RPG terror attacks on Punjab police. Uh, proof of which had been submitted to the Trudeau government, but they chose to do nothing about it. And this is something uh, which obviously the Indian authorities made very, very clear that these people have left a trail of evidence, uh, which was of course shared like we did in 2611 to Pakistan, but nothing was done. In fact, in Pakistan, the evidence was submitted into court. Uh, it's unfortunate that nothing became of it, but the Canadians will not even acknowledge the evidence that India has uh, facilitated. Gurpinder Singh, he belongs to KZF. He lives in British Columbia. He has to plot to assassinate uh, on the instructions of uh, Paramjeet Singh Pamma, another declared terrorist uh, who continued to plot against India. Of course, nothing has been done against uh, uh, this person as well. 